Hey everybody, we're so glad to be able to be here with you virtually. Um, and we want to invite you to join with us as we worship together. Let's sing I raise a hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah in the presence of my enemies. I raise a
Psalm 32, seven says, for you are my hiding place and you protect me from trouble. You surround me with songs of deliverance. This is one of my favorite scriptures to pray over my own life and over friends and family. And when I get the opportunity to pray with folks in the church that are going through hard times, I love to pray this scripture, this promise of God over them as well, um, that God would just surround them with his presence and sing songs over them, reminding them of his love and his faithfulness, of his nature and who he is. If you're having a hard time right now or just going through something, I wanna encourage you, cling to this scripture and pray it over your life as well and ask him to fill your heart and your mind with songs reminding you of who he is and his great love for you. And the song we wanna share with you right now is one that we've probably sung more often um, than any other song through the course of our relationship together through our marriage. Um, So in the last 16 years, this has probably been one that's come up so many times um, for so many different occasions and in so many different stages of people's lives. And I know it's been a blessing to us and we hope it'll be a blessing to you as well. Sing along if you know it. So I see because 
this time we want to do something a little bit different. We've invited some friends to join us, and they're going to tell you about a song that's been blessing their life. We hope that you enjoy it and it blesses you as well. God bless. Hi, I'm Ben. I'm Sarah. The song you're about to listen to, uh, we first heard when we were on vacation last fall. And uh, of course, we were visiting a new church, which can always be kind of an awkward situation, uh, plugging into a different worship service. Uh, but we did get to listen to this song for the first time. And um, what was interesting is as soon as this song played and literally the second it was over, I received a text about um, some pretty, pretty hard news um, that could have been earth shattering for me and a lot of people that uh, we love. And, um, you know, there's a lot of situations where Christians find themselves in a fire situation, um, in a situation where they can't reach out to anyone or feel anything but the love of Christ. And uh, to know that when you're in those moments that you have him at your side at all times, um, but, you know, without Christ, we would be in the water with no one holding it back. We would be in the fire alone. And uh, to know that because there's an empty tomb, we don't have to be alone is is something that's uh, almost unexplainable to people that are non-believers. And um, this song really encapsulates that feeling and what that means uh, to the believer in my in my opinion. Yeah. So like Ben said, it just kept kind of coming back to us after that first time we heard it. And just one of the things I love is it just applies to so many situations. And I love the fact that it brings um, Old Testament Bible stories and even some New Testament ones just to the present, just to really be thinking about it. Um, I know for me personally, and I'm sure many of you who are watching this, it's very easy to feel like you are alone in these situations where you're worried, you're scared, whether it's sickness, um, uncertainty of the future, like we all have these struggles and trials and it's so easy to feel alone. Even if your family and friends maybe are aware of those situations, you really don't feel like they're with you there in those moments. And, and I love the fact it brings up Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. They went into the fire facing what they thought was death and Jesus was there with them. And Moses had a stick and death pursuing them from behind with all these people that he cared about and, and death before him in the form of a sea. And yet God was in that moment and God opened the waters to get them to safety. Um, Paul in prison, just praising God and God tore those walls down. So a lot of times we're not sure what's going to happen. We don't know if we're going to have to stand in the fire or if God's going to part those seas, but he is there with us through all of those trials. Jesus told us in this world, we were going to have trouble. One of the things I love, though, it's the last verse in Matthew when he's um, giving what we call the Great Commission, where he's telling us to go into the world and preach the gospel. It says, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. And that to me is just the best promise of all. He promised not to leave us, but he also says till the very end of the age that he is going to be with us. You know, Jesus overcame the grave. He conquered death. We have that hope, but it's not just the hope we need to focus on. It's in the, in the fire. We see him there with us because the darkness bows to him and him alone. And there is no other name but the name of Jesus. So I really hope this song ministers to you as you face different trials, not just through this time, but through life. And hopefully it will minister to you and just come back to your heart when you need it the most. So I hope you enjoy the song. Enjoy. There's a grace when the heart is under fire Another way when the walls are closing in And when I look at the space between Where I used to be and this reckoning I know I will never be alone There was another in the fire Standing next to me, there was another in the waters holding back the sea. And should I ever need reminding of how I've been set free, there is a cross that bears the burden where another died for me. There is another. I'm no 
Thanks so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye, y'all.